Moving on, just like most infrastructure projects in the northeast, the east-west corridor has been held hostage by various militant groups in Assam, threatening to bury the project as more and more people decide to quit construction work in Bodoland. Gayatri Patacharji has the details. An uneasy calm on the east-west corridor, cutting across Bodoland in Assam. We come across a huge security presence, but the people working on the project say it's still not safe. Here situation is like Killings, kidnappings and extortions are rampant here. With the state's most dreaded terror outfit, National Democratic Front of Boroland, active in this area. This construction company from Hyderabad, working for the project, started with 450 employees. Today, they are down to 150, with most of them threatening to leave any day. The fund collection, the corruption starts at the top. Even every political party is collecting fund. Here there is 150 parties. For my side, it's hardly 10 minutes journey to Bhutan border jungle. In 10 minutes, they can escape. As many as 27 people have been abducted against ransom demands in Boruland this year alone. The country's largest infrastructure project is hardly making any progress at the entry point of Assam, with four employees of this construction company working on the project having been kidnapped in the last one year. 70% of its employees, mostly technical experts, have left this place. It's being a difficult task to retain the remaining few for whom security in these areas cannot be guaranteed. In Kokrajar, Gaitri for NDTV.